You didn't wear your ring again. Baby, who wear your ring? <laughs> Have a good day. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so, James, like I was saying, by the time you finish telling them all these things, I will be back. By the time you finish explaining all these things to them, I would have been there. I know. Okay. Of course. James, I still have the samples of the designs. I have some here with me. Just find a way and keep them busy, okay? I'll be there now. All right. Ah, uh, bros, where you there now? Nah? Make her they come forward, I'll be make her they come back. Where you there? Ah ah. Hey! Ah, bros, I don't jump a sinker. I beg, I go call you back. I go call you back. Oh my god! What the hell is that? Madam, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I, I am very sorry, ma'am. You are sorry? Jesus Christ. Oh my so God, what kind of ear luck is this? What is wrong with you? How am I sorry? Huh. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Can you even buy this car? No, ma, I cannot. I, ma, I, I have oh a mechanic who can fix it. What? You have a mechanic? Fix what? What do you want to fix? What do you want to fix? Can you even buy this car? Madam, I'm sorry. I, I'm, just, huh. I'm just a cab man. What is wrong? Oh my God. I, 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 don't you ever talk about it. Can you buy this car? No, ma'am. Can you fix this car? Your entire generation cannot buy my car. Well, I'm, oh. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Okay, see, I don't have time for this nonsense and I can't wait for your mechanic. What will happen is, okay, you're a cab driver, right? Yes, ma'am. You're going to take me to everywhere I want to go today because looking at you, you cannot pay for this car. Okay, ma'am. No, 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 no problem. You take me to everywhere I want to go today? No problem. I will not give you a dime for fuel. No Let's problem. go. Which can wala be this? I'm very sorry. You talk too much. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. okay give me one minute. Hey, get! Oh my god. Come on. You're wasting my time! Now I'm sorry. Be fast. Sorry, ma. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you seen the car? I didn't want to leave the key there because I don't know how safe that place is. It's just a bumper, anyway. Okay, when you're done, please call me. I am very sorry, madam. Please forgive me. I am not usually this careless. I guess it's a bad day. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. If you do not know how to drive, why are you on the road? 
Please, ma, forgive me. I am sorry. Just drive. Go. And take it easy. I said take it easy. I'm sorry, ma. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Madam, welcome. My car broke down, but it's been fixed, and I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for coming late. So, so sorry. That's all right. That's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, can we proceed? Sure. Of course. Of course. James, are you transmitting to him? Yes, ma'am. Good. Some working class women feel bad getting pregnant because they will start wearing clothes and shoes they do not like to wear. And they feel they will look ugly for some couple of months. And people will consider them less classy because they will start wearing clothes bigger than them. So this idea is to address that. Making sure every pregnant woman wears clothes relevant to her condition and still feel classy in them. When a woman is not comfortable in her outfit, she can never be productive in her working environment. That is why at Mandy Lines Collection, we introduce you what we call the CCP, meaning class and comfort in pregnancy. Wow, fantastic. Fred, Oga Fred, I beg, I they come, I they come, I they come. I carry passenger. Yeah, you go see me now, now, now. I beg, no verse. Hey, I they come. Hey, 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 I they come. Hello, madam. I beg, I they come, I don't, I they come, no vest for me. I carry passenger. Eh, I they come, I they come, I beg. Eh, I go, I go soon come pick you. Eh, hey. Okay, thank you, man. Hey, Cassidy, Cassidy. Eh, something was telling me that today will not be a good day for me, but I wouldn't listen. Eh? Instead of me to follow the old road, I went and listened to people telling me to follow the newly repaired road. No, no, I've bashed this woman's car and then cured expenses on my head. What can I, which kind of temptation be this one save? Eh? She's not even the con. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
tell me what's the update look I am tired of waiting I need updates good remember My sister's husband is not supposed to know about this. I'm riding with you in this car. How do you do it? Do what, ma? This! People enter this car, they pay you, and you collect the money without shame. Ha! Well, hey, why are you going to collect? Don't be all like this. Excuse you? But I'm country hard, though. Country hard, where, where? Mom must chop. Just go, I'm hot! Yes, ma. Madam, this is why you they touch my car seat. You feel like you say you don't they like my car. Oh. No worry, after today, eh? I go give you my number. Anytime you call me to come pick you up, if you call me by 7 a.m., I go come by 6.15, come carry you. Eh? What's this? Please watch the road before you bash into another car. Ha <laughs> ha, madam, no go there. Oh. No just go there. Oh. I be experienced driver. Eh? You know what happen again? You there for safe hands. Get rid of that thought. I will never trust you. But you don't trust me. You don't already trust me. How? Yeah. Let me bash your car. Now you still enter my car and make I drive you go somewhere. No be trust be that one. No be trust. Just <laughs> shut up! Go! Just go. Sorry, ma. Sorry. Sorry. The meeting went well. We'll send the deal soon. Mm -hmm. So, did you send the samples to the designer to rework on, like I told you? Okay. I'll keep you posted, yeah, sure. Please, take care of things in my absence. Alright, bye. Why are you taking this way? Where is this? Huh? huh? Sorry, sorry, I did not inform you, ma. I took this place to cut off the traffic so you can arrive there early and get your work done. You have to inform me before you take whichever way you choose to. Uh, okay. Just uh, shut up and drive, dummy! Jesus. Sorry. Oh!
food is served. Is it time? Not yet. Be patient. You speak good English. Did you get a formal education? Ah, yes, ma'am. I'm a graduate, too. a graduate of electrical engineering. Oh, wow! I see. Thank you, ma'am. So, why are you driving a taxi? Ha! <laughs> but um, you know how hard our country is now. Nah? No work. There is no work in this country. And when hunger, I mean when hunger hammer you where where, you could just tell daily, pack that to your certificate, enter streets. Ha. Ah. I see. Ah. Okay. into the office for my meeting. Why didn't you run away? I mean, you won't be traceable. Sincerely, I didn't expect I was going to see you here. So, why did you stay? Ah, madam, I am not the type who would run away from my problem. The least I could do is take the punishment you have for me until you ask me to leave or your car is fixed. I am still here, ma'am. I am not going anywhere. Not running. Impressive.
hurts after the main meal. Always good for you. I will be waiting. We wait for the time to come. Let me give you something 
better than what your wife gives to you. Ah, thank you very much, ma'am. Let me help you hold this. Okay. I'm not far from the place. I thought I'll branch off to do lunch. But don't worry, I'll eat lunch when I get there. Thanks for reminding me. Bye. Take me to Diceview Hotel. Yes, ma'am. The sun outside is too hot, so you will wait for me here. I won't be long, okay? Okay. But you can order anything you want. Anything. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. This place is fine, oh. This place is fine. Where, where? You loud. Hi! Hey, my food. Hey, I will order jello fries and chicken with plantain. <laughs> That's the first one. Then, uh, banga. Banga soup and uh, catfish. That's the second one. The third one. And soup garnished with farewell call. I can see the it's like food. It's like... 16,500 naira for a plate of food. Hey. Oh now, it's enough money to buy land for me. My brother, I did not order for any food. Mrs. Amanda asked her to bring you food. She will join you shortly. Cassidy, caution. Caution. This might just be another trap. First, she blamed me for denting her car. Now she's feeding me. Eh? I, 
this woman wants to put another bill on my head that will make me work for her for the rest of the week. I no, no. TV, watch television. Hey, hey, Ross, come, come, stand here, stand here, stand here. I do not know what you people are up to. But I refuse to fall for it. Yes, I refuse. I refuse to be fooled. How am I even sure that she asked you to serve me food? I'm only following orders, sir. Please enjoy your meal. Eh! Hey, I should enjoy my meal and pay later, right? <laughs> kai, kai. You are doing well. You are doing perfectly well. <laughs> See, scope. <laughs> You cannot get me. presentation is obvious. They are going to award this contract to Amanda. What are you going to do about it? Well, I don't know. But I know Chief is not going to spare me if that contract doesn't go to his company. I thought she was going to give the presentation to James. I would have manipulated it to my advantage. Joseph. I don't have to remind you how well you're paid for this job. Your head is on the line, you know. I know. And I will do something very fast. Whatever you have to do, it must be today. You might award that contract to her by tomorrow. Amanda must not get that contract. Kill her, if possible. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. You haven't touched your food. Uh, the food? I, I am not hungry. I am not hungry. You know I got uh, snacks and drink from you. That one is still fresh with me. You and I know you're lying. I... I... Uh, uh, Yes. Yes, I'm lying. Yes, you are right, I'm lying. See, I always live within my means. I don't want to eat something I cannot afford. That was why I took this one. At least I know I can afford it, bad as it bad. And I can pay for it. Um, I can't afford this one before I start eating in my dreams. You know, I was right when I told my mechanic to fix my car. Else? How would you have paid? Ah, Madame, no go there. I'm a child of grace. 
Grace would have saved me. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Which one is Grace? Anyway, I've paid for the food. Just tell the waiter to pack it for you. You've paid for everything? Mm -hmm. Hi. Thank you, ma. Madam, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. But, waiter! Where is this boy? Waiter! I told you people that your plan will not work. Come and pack this food for me. I told you people. Me I not say make you no dollar Me I not say if you not get all the things where they make for my color Madam, so you like music? This is strange Why? Because you are too serious and focused I never believed that someone like you would like music mm -hmm. hmm. Sing more Nah, 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 nah Music is not my thing Why? Maybe you don't know the lyrics Not really I do actually. I doubt. Hello? Oh, thanks. I hope you did it well. Okay, I'll come and pick it now. Mm hmm. Yes. Glory. My car is fixed, so just um, take me back to where you picked me from. Ah, thank God, though. Where you jammed me from. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Cassidy. Ma? You're strange, you know. All the bad things I've said to you, you're still sweet with words. Oh, madam. Madam, nothing did this life. Oh. This life, they easy. But now we they complicate them ourselves. Life is very easy, oh. Mm. Hey, hey, madam. The money. You know, say that your car big well, well, to fix them go cost a lot of money. So, I feel say maybe I go give them the small one what I get. Even if not to deposit this my car, I go deposit that when I pay finish, I will come carry them. That one no be problem. I beg. Don't worry. I've taken care of it. It's sorted. Eh? Yes. Hey! What up? <laughs> Thank you very much, too. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Madam, are you okay? Madam! 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 Are you okay? She started coughing at me. Collapsed. She collapsed. Yes. Did she eat anything? Yes, she ate snacks. Snacks? Anything else? I'm not too sure. Do you know if she's allergic to anything? Honestly, doctor, I don't know. I'm just a cab driver that brought her here. We need 
need to contact her family. Come with me to the office. Please, am I on to Mr. Harry O'Hams? This is Dr. Ijima from Roseville Hospital. I'm sorry to inform you about your wife. What about my wife? You need to come to Roseville Hospital immediately. Okay. He said he's coming. Okay, doctor. Um, excuse me, doctor. Excuse me. My wife is in the hospital. I need to get there immediately. alive I asked a simple question is my sister still alive maybe what do you mean by maybe you were given a simple assignment
searched everywhere for her. We couldn't find her. She's not here. Excuse me. What are you saying, doctor? You called me telling me that my wife is in your hospital. Now I'm here. So where is she? Please, sir. Just calm down. You see, she was lying here unconscious not so long ago. I don't know how it happened. So where is she? Sir, so, I personally administered some medications on her right here. Maybe she got better and left. Though, I asked the nurses on duty and the security men on duty. They told me they, they did not see her leave. Yes. They didn't see her leave. So where is my wife? out of the hospital. It's all your fault, Amanda. You pushed me. You pushed me. Damien is coming to see you tomorrow. Who is Damien? My fiance. 
Oh my God. Wait, you have a fiance and you don't bother to tell your only sister. Come on. I, I, I just wanted to be sure before letting you know. Sure of what now? I got that baby. Thank you. Okay. I'm excited. What does he do? Well, he's into importation. That's big! <laughs> and so many other things. <laughs> Congrats, girl. Thank you. Trust me, you will like him when you see him. Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what time is he coming? Um, 2 p.m. Okay, by you. Okay. Anything for you. It's Thank fine. you so much. <laughs> so what does he like to eat? I want to go to the market. I want to cook. I cook. No, oh, my baby no, says no, get no, married. Please, please, I'll do the cooking. No, okay? no, 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 Nelly. I will cook. I'm cooking. You Nelly, cook. I'm your big sister. I want to cook. You have work to do. No, baby girl. I no, want to cook. please. Who's I don't want to Which was your wedding you? finger again? Oh. Which was your wedding finger? No, no, no. Which was your wedding finger? It's coming. The ring is coming. Yeah. Oh. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, baby. <laughs> so once we get to immediately after the meeting, now I'll, I'll leave for my appointment. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to meet him. I'm just waiting for him. You should be there by now. Yes, this is past two. <laughs> Finally. Oh. Finally he is here. <laughs> um, meets my sister, Amanda, and her husband, Harry. This is my fiance, Damien. Yeah, ma, Miss Sacolin, Miss Sacolin. Listen to me. You got me? We go by the name Damien. Damien, me love Kush. Me smoke Kush a lot. Yeah, man, everything nice, nice. Yeah, man, me feel you, me feel you. Yeah, man. Oh, everything nice. Everything sweet. We love them sweet sugar. Yeah, man. Everything nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, suckle, suckle, suckle. Yeah, man, suckle. Your baby girl me love you so much. <laughs> Your man. <laughs> Damien, where are you from? Some part of Africa, your man. Uh, Nelly, is he okay? Your man, me yeah, good. He's fine. He's, he's me okay. good. Me good. He's fine. Your man, me good. How old are you? Oh, your man, age is just a number. Your man, me feel alright. Me cool, me love my baby girl so much. Yeah. Uh, Nelly, mm? is this the Damien you talked about? Yes, he's Damien, my fiance. Yeah, man. And I love him so oh, much. Oh, baby girl, I love you too, baby girl. Listen, my name is what? Damien, me love Kush. Me smoke Kush a lot. That's why they call me Damien Lakosh. Me love them sugar, baby girl. How about the importation business? How is it going? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, on it. Still on it. Actually, I'm waiting for Nelly here. Your man, Nelly and I have an agreement that you will give me 10 million naira to start up a business before we can get married. Your man. Excuse me. What are you saying? Your man, me here, me want to know when I'll receive the money because I ain't got no time, please. And got no time, please. I don't know what you're talking about. Nelly. Yeah, ma. What is this guy talking about? Um, you know, I, I told you that he's Damien and um, he's into chains of businesses and he's yeah, into importation. Um, and he's, he's a nice guy. You, you, you yeah. like him, right? I told you you were going to like him. He's yeah, a ma. cool guy. Uh, but he needs a little push. You know? yeah, ma. He needs um, money for his business and if you give us this money, we'll be able to get married. Yeah, man. We love you. We love you. Oh. Nelly, meet me in my room. <laughs> no! I'll be right. Me need the cash right now. Me need the cash. I don't want to waste time, please. I need raw cash. Yo, yeah, man. Hurry up. Yo, yeah, man. Love them sugar. <laughs> Yo, my wagwan. What's up? What 
is the matter? I'm wondering if we're of the same parents. How? This guy does not have a job or a business. Yet you want me to give him 10 million naira just because he wants to marry you. Have you, have you two lost it? Amanda, I love him. That's okay. But you will not use my money as a tool in your relationship. But that's the only condition he gave to get married to me. Isn't he generous? Very generous. Are you handicapped? This marriage of a thing is not a business transaction. So, I'm supposed to pay down, right? Eh? Now, even at this age, you still think like a kid. Huh. Come. Are you sure you did not hit your head somewhere as a child? I ran away. I don't get it. I don't understand you. So, are you giving me the money or not? No! I will not give you a dime to give to that thief. Trust me, Nelly. Once you give that guy that money, he will not marry you. I trust him. That's okay. Go and work, learn a trade, learn something, earn money, and then open up a business for him. As for me, Amanda, I will not be that stupid like you. Besides, Father left us a lot of money. What did you do with yours? Mm -hmm. What did you do with yours? You can't talk? Thought as much. Nonsense. Stupid. Your mom may need some chow, you know what I'm saying? I swear to God, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, man, I got some chow. Woo, I love this, I love this, I love this. Oh, everything nice, everything good. Oh, your mom may feel good. Mmm. Oh, your mom, the man, the man, the Me feel good. Me hit the jackpot. Your oh. man, me hit the jackpot. Your man, oh. What are you doing in my kitchen? Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I will marry your sister. Not in your life. <laughs> Baram, looking at you, I think I have a second plan. Yes. It seems like uh, you are the one laying the golden egg. You know what I'm saying? You want? I feel you. Listen, I like them pink. You have them pink. You know. Get out! You know. Get out of my kitchen! Get out! <laughs> He is not going anywhere. I love Nelly, you. Do you remember this is still my house? <laughs> Get out. Take your scruffy looking man out of my house. Like Get you out. Want me out. Get out! He wants me out. Take this out of my house. <laughs> I will have him arrested. Get out! Damien. You want me out? Get out. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Oh, yeah, listen. I like the pink. Damien. Oh, yo, baby. So sorry. You know, I love you so much. <laughs> come, come, let's... Yeah, yeah All right. Get out, you two! Get out! Let's come on! Uh, no! You want us to leave? <laughs> oh, baby. You know I love you so much. You know that? You know I love you so much. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is my choice, and I will not let you spoil things for me. I want to get married to Damien, and you have to make it happen. You should know me by now that when I say no, nothing will make me change my mind. And I'll never go back on my word. Look, this is one of the few times you have to go back on your words. Amanda, why do I have you as a sister if you do not want me happy? 
Of what use is your wealth if you cannot just help me just with a little money for I am my future husband? Little? Yes. You and I know that you have this money. Look, Amanda, after giving me the 10 million, you should give me like 20 million, 30 million, or even 40 million in my account. Mm -hmm. You're my sister. Mm. I mean, this money is going to help me to, you know, you know, be okay in marriage. We don't have to run back to you to beg for money. If it were dad, he would do it. Dad did it. Shut up! Shut your mouth up. Are you the one talking or something is talking through you? Are you okay? Amanda, Amanda, slow down, slow down, slow down. I, I heard what she said. She's right. Come on now, you have this money. At least your younger sister, your blood. You have this money. How much is 40, 50 million now? You can give it to her. Listen, someday you'll leave this world and leave all this money behind. What are you doing with it? She's your sister. Make her happy. Give her this money. Let her get married. It's nothing. Harry, even you? Well, I'm not having this conversation with you guys. Harry, Nali is your sister-in-law. You have a responsibility towards her. Give her the family if you have it. Come on. Give her the family. Don't you ever! No, I'll give you 100 million. No, I'll, no, I'll give you guys my life. I will come across my head. No, can you just imagine? What is this? Blood is thicker than water, they say. But you chose money over me and my happiness. Let's see who will end up spending this money. You selfish bastard. Jarazi, or you Cassidy, you know we've suffered in this place. 
You cannot drive taxi all your life, my guy. You cannot. We suffer. You know how we hustled in this street. But look at me now. I've made it. I have cars. I have houses. This is my small baby. What I want you to do is very legit. See, eh? All you have to do is find a rich man or a rich woman. Find a way to get the person to the shrine. Some rituals will be performed and the person's destiny will be transferred to you. The person may die in the process, but that's not your problem, my guy. I want you to know that once this is done, you will never ever taste poverty all the days of your life. Poverty, bye-bye. Achieve what you desire. She must drink from the sacred waters of Ndimbe. Spirits are speaking. Can you hear them? You have come. You have seen. You are yet to conquer. It will not be easy. But it must be done. Eteke 
هتكات 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 اوبا هتكات 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 You still have not told me who this lady is and why you're going this far. She's... She's a friend. I hear the pause. But the most important is the friendship you just spoke about. We just met. She's a good person. But she is surrounded by evil people. You might just be the scapegoat. I'm aware of that. She has a pure heart. But she is easily misunderstood. The time has come. Let's take it. Did my wife grow wings and, uh, and just flew out of your hospital? Huh? You said my wife was unconscious, right? How did an unconscious woman leave here without you noticing? How? Please, sir. We're very sorry. The entire management of this hospital, we are as worried as you are. Sir, we have even reported this case to the police. We are very sorry, sir. You're sorry? No, you're not sorry. By the time I shut down this facility and put you behind bars for the rest of your life, then you'll be sorry. Calm down, sir. Even the cabman that brought her here yesterday has not even shown up till this moment. Cabman? Yes. The cab driver brought my wife here. Yes, sir. Where did he pick her from? According to him, she boarded his cab for the whole of yesterday because uh, he accidentally bashed her car. But both of them were together when she passed out. Both of them were together when my wife passed out. The same man brought her to this hospital. Then you say it's a case of poisoning and you didn't deem it fit to arrest this man and you drunk doctor. Sir, he left immediately and the phone number he dropped up to today is switched off. We have submitted the number to the police. Let me have the number.
millions. Please do not kill me. Do, do not kill me, please. I will pay. I know I owe you. I will. I am a businessman. All I think about is profit. And whoever causes me loss will get lost. I will kill you slowly. But surely. If I do not get my money from you. Please, you will get your money. I will pay you, I promise. I've been going through a lot, Odobo. I've been going through a whole lot. A lot, believe me, you don't want to know. But I will pay you, I promise. Just give me some time. A little more time, one week. One week is too much. Okay. Give me five days. Five days is too much. Give me two days. In two days I will pay. Please. Two days. I heard Amanda was poisoned and now she's missing. Is this the master plan you came up with? Joseph. I asked you a question. First, <clears throat> I wanted the designs to be stolen and watermarked as Chief's idea. So it would look as if Madame stole the idea. But unfortunately, James has refused to leave the office. So I could look for it there. You still haven't answered my question. Did you poison Amanda? <laughs> back. I've been trying to reach you but your phone has been switched off. Where have you been? It's a long story. Are you okay? I guess so. Um, any news about Amanda? No. No news. The doctor maintained that Amanda vanished from his hospital. Just like that. Without a trace. He said a cabman brought her to his hospital. He gave me his number. I've been calling the number. It's switched off. This is not good. So what next? I'll find that cab driver. The poison they gave to her is very strong. If you hadn't brought her here when you did, she would have died.
I brought you here for treatment. Don't be scared. She's my aunt. She's a herbalist. Herbalist? Yes. You were poisoned. What? I was so scared. I felt, I felt the person that poisoned you might come back to finish the job. You mean, you mean I was poisoned? Yes, you were poisoned. The doctor confirmed it. My auntie confirmed it as well. She said, if I hadn't brought you here when I did, you would have been dead by now. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's okay. It's fine. So, how do you feel? I feel a lot better today. But I need to go home. I need to speak to my husband. He'll be worried sick. Madam, please, not so fast. Please. Why? You do know your life is in danger, right? I know, but... Your husband might have a hand in it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not my husband. Why in the world would my husband do this? You don't know my husband. What does it stand to gain? You know you're accusing the wrong person, right? Don't even say that, please. Trust no one. Like I said, Harry will never do anything to hurt me. Please, I need to go. I need to go. Madam, madam, you need to be well rested. Please calm down, please. You are all useless. Very useless. How can you tell me that you've been unable to find a sick woman? I thought the first group was stupid. But now I know all of you are a bunch of fools. Now listen to me. I need a man that found and killed. You have the cabman's number. Trace them. Everything will work out as planned.
take this. It will help cleanse your system and give you back your energy. Why are you helping me? Your nephew hardly knows me. Cassidy is a good boy. I can do anything for him. Besides, you're a good person. The more good people we save, the better the world becomes. Thank you. I appreciate this. Drink more. Thank you. Mm. Cassidy, I'm not a foolish person. I've been married to my husband for a long time. If you want to tell me that I don't know the man I'm with? Madam, I may be wrong, but I think you should get the police involved in this. Do not face him without protection. I am worried about you. And I appreciate that. But I need to go home. I need my loved ones around me. And my sister Nelly. I don't even know how to reach her because I can't find my phone. Does she stay in your house? Yes. Oh. But I'm like I said earlier. Do not trust anybody. Cassidy, please, please, please. You've done enough. You saved my life. And I appreciate it. But please don't involve Nell in this. I love my sister and she loves me very much. Stop, please. I've not eaten in days. Please, I'm hungry. Okay, okay, I'll give you some money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me give you more. More? Let's take God bless you. God bless you. Wait. You will never lack my child. There's a dark shadow hovering over your head. Yes. But where you fed me, a stranger, my daughter, another stranger will come to your aid. Amen. No harm will come to you. Amen. No evil shall prevail against you. Amen. But, my dear child, be very, very careful. Thank you, Mama. It happened just the way you said it. What's wrong with you now? What is it? Sequel, 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 sequel. What does that mean? 
I don't understand. What do you mean? Okay, don't play with me. Which one is you? You don't understand what you do. What's your problem? We had an agreement. We had a plan. Well-structured plan. All you needed to do was to follow the plan. I told you when you get to my house, tell my wife that you love the sister. You love her sister. You love her very much. I want to get married to her. And you're into importation business. Your business is doing well, but you just need a little push. You know, 40, 50 million naira from her and everything will be fine. That you love the sister so much. You're madly in love with her. I know my wife. My wife would have given us that money because my wife loves her sister so much. But you all day you were talking nonsense, speaking Jamaican language, speaking Patois. You mean I was speaking Patois? Okay, don't play with me. You think I will stand here and be talking nonsense? You go to that place and you were saying, yeah, 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 yeah man, I, I man, me, me love Kush, me smoke Kush. Are you from Jamaica? What is wrong with you, Obina? Hey! You mean I said all these things? Hey! Okwani, if I say, eh? See, I came out that morning ready to execute our plan. But I was having a little tension, you know? So I now ask my guy to, to bring a small kush, you know? Kanji Chanayan. I think I smoked too much. I now started misbehaving when I got to your house. Please, I am sorry, please. I, I was even thinking I was doing well. You mean I was speaking Jamaica language? Hey! Obina. Obina, you're very big idiot. Big idiot, that's what you are. Brother. I am sorry. I am very sorry, please. You know you are my cousin. And I'm ready to do anything possible to make you happy. Please, give me a second chance. I will not smoke again. Brother. Um, let me not lie to you. I will smoke just smoke. Huh? So that I can have ginger, at least to face your wife. You know, your wife is a, is a, is a chick woman, and uh, one need to be high before you can face the woman. Eh? So that I can give you a good job. Obina, All right. get out. Get out. But I'm sorry now. Please don't go, I am scared. Cassidy, we've been through this. Nothing will stop me from going. Okay. It's fine. If you insist. You've been with my phone and my key all this while. I am sorry, Ma. I had to turn it off to protect you. I wanted you to be ready before I hand them over to you. I am sorry if I did anything wrong. It's Your okay. car is parked somewhere over there. Thank you. You're really a good person, Cassidy. I'll never believe that my husband, my sister, will try to kill me. They are the only family I have. I have to go. Thank you. Careful.
driver hit my car then he took me around for some meetings and a few other places just when I was called to come and take my car I started coughing out blood Jesus thank God for the cab driver that took me to a herbalist Harry I was poisoned oh my god oh my god oh my What would I have done without you? Oh How about Nelly? Nelly has been so worried. I know. Nelly loves you so much. Nelly loves you, honestly. She hasn't been sleeping. Oh, Harry, sweetheart. Don't be a naughty boy. <laughs> Come right here. Nelly! He Did you call my husband, sweetheart? Nelly? Harry? And what if I call him my sweetheart? Is there anything wrong with it? Hmm? This is all your fault, Amanda. I begged for your financial help so I'll be able to get married. You refused. Even though we are sisters, even though you're worth millions of naira, for crying out loud, Amanda, you used the whooping sum of hundred million naira to ensure your life. How could you? You're so selfish. Even though father left a larger part of his wealth for you. Your husband here. Is not left out. Harry. What do you mean by Harry, you psycho? Bloody bastard, that's what you are. How many years have we been married? You prefer that I beg? You prefer that I suffer? Huh? You walked out of me simply because I asked you for help. You are my wife. All I'm asking for is 80 million now. You have this money. Let me start up a new business and get back on my feet. 80 million now. If I remove that from my business, what would I have left? What are you talking about? And if your husband gets back on his feet again, you don't even need a business. Really? Yes, yeah, you don't need to work. My business is my identity. I worked for it. And I'm not going to lose that because I want to satisfy your ego. Call it ego. Harry, I love you. I love you very much. But I cannot give you that kind of amount until I fully understand the kind of business you want to go into. Please.
So Amanda ensured her life with a hundred million. Simply means that if she dies, I get that money. One hundred million. It's simple. Let her die. Somebody who has that kind of money sits back, watches her own sister suffer is wicked. She deserves to die. All right, so we we arrange for her to be poisoned. She dies. As a next of kin, I get paid a hundred million naira. I get married to you. And we live happily ever after. <laughs> Here you go. Put everything in her tea. Hmm? Are you listening? Everything. Make sure she drinks all of it. Okay? I've transferred 500,000 to your account. So, the moment you're done, confirm to me, I'll transfer your balance. Right? Yes. Everybody um, must know about this. Make sure she drinks everything. All right, go. right after all. So here we are. We can test the gun. You know how to handle a gun? We kill you. We take your hundred million Naira insurance money and everything you want. And then Harry and I will get married. Extend my greetings to Father when you see him. Tell him I love him. Finish! You're under arrest. Drop that gun on the floor. And raise up your hands. Two of you. Immediately! Sir, keep the other phone. Remain silent. I handcuff them. You please said everything you said. Move.
All I wanted was to understand the kind of business my husband wanted to do. And my sister, I wanted to teach her not to be wasteful with money. But they both misunderstood me. I guess that's my destiny. It's okay. <sighs> but am I... I am sorry for what you went through. I'm really sorry. Hmm, that's fine. This is for you. Twenty million naira. Twenty million naira for me, mother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What you did for me is worth more than money. You saved my life. Thank you. And if you need a job, I can get one for you in my company. Madam, <laughs> thank you so much. This is too much. Thank you very much. I appreciate. God bless you. God bless you. Mm. Okay, I have to get back to work. Okay, ma. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 